हेलो एंड वेलकम दिस इज भास्कर नापते फ्रॉम फार्मा ग्रोथ हब एंड टुडेज वीडियो इज वेरी स्पेशल यू मस्ट हैव सीन पीपल कंडक्टिंग डिफरेंट स्टेबिलिटी स्टडीज लाइक लॉन्ग टर्म टेस्टिंग एक्सेलरेटेड टेस्टिंग और इन्यूज टेस्टिंग और मे बी द स्ट्रेस टेस्टिंग बट टुडे वी आर गुड टू टॉक अबाउट सम ऑफ द वेरी डिफरेंट स्टडी in terms of the stability of drug product and that is freeze thaw study so we will talk about what is mean by freeze thaw when this study has to be conducted how this study has to be conducted what is the protocol looks like should be and there are many many interesting fact that we are going to uh, reveal as a part of this video so before we go further let us first understand the definition or the meaning of uh, the freeze and thaw word so the meaning of freeze is nothing but going to frozen state due to decrease in temperature for example if you decrease the temperature of a water then the water can go from liquid state to solid state uh, in the ice and this is called as what is the frozen state of the water and it has occurred because of what because of the decrease in temperature so you can understand one thing that the freezing can happen because of the decrease in temperature let us now understand the meaning of thaw so what is mean by thaw and here it is on the screen so coming out of a frozen state due to an increase in temperature is called as the thaw so now we have reached to the ice state in the last example so the moment you increase the temperature of the the ice then what is going to happen the ice is going to convert into water again that is the it is coming out of its frozen state the ice is coming out of its frozen state and then you can say that okay now the the thawing is happening as per as ice is concerned because of what the thaw is the thawing is happening because of the increase in temperature the freezing is happen because of the decrease in temperature and the thawing is happen because of the increase in temperature i hope you are clear on to these two important terms what is mean by freezing and what is mean by thawing great let us move ahead now so what is the freeze thaw study okay so the term itself can indicate the meaning of that so study where temperature will be gradually increase from low to high so that product can experience freezing to thawing so you will begin from the low temperature let us say like minus 20 degrees celsius and your product will be now freezed condition and then we will gradually increase the temperature step by step step by step so that the product is now converting from its freezing state to thawing state that is the meaning of freeze thaw study so the product shall be cycled through temperature conditions that simulate the changes likely to be encountered once the product is in distribution so you must understand that the real life scenario of the product undergoing various temperature condition has to be simulated and that is the purpose of conducting the freeze thaw study so why conduct freeze thaw study then what is the purpose behind conducting the freeze thaw study and here it is to study the chemical to study the impact on chemical physical microbiological property of drug product due to temperature change and uh, this can be crystallization or sedimentation or clouding of aqueous based formulation or this can be fragmentation aggregation of the proteins so you can understand that the aqueous based products sterile based products or the biologicals like uh, proteins and peptides are very very susceptible towards the temperature change and for those products freeze thaw study is mandatory not only the products property change but you can also think about uh, the freeze thaw study can also help you 
to understand the suitability of the container closure system at the various temperatures during the product's life cycle maybe during shipping or during storage so how the container closure is compatible with the product it is actually withstanding to the temperature condition can also be studied as a part of freeze thaw study now why does a product experience freeze thaw in a life in a real life okay now this could be a very easy question but still i thought of putting into a presentation so that everyone will be clear about it see the product may experience freezing or thawing due to below condition the temperature can be low during the night okay and it can be high during the day so this temperature of day and night can also make the freezing and thawing possible not only that the temperature can go up and down during the long shipping time through multi continent or different climatic zone and because of that it is very important for you to at least understand you know what is going to happen when the product undergoes the increase and a decrease in the temperature so when the freeze thaw is applicable so the freeze thaw is applicable for sterile products the freeze thaw is applicable for the products which are susceptible to phase separation loss of viscosity precipitation aggregation etc you can think about a semi solids like cream emulsions you can think like sterile products means injectables like maps so all these products the proteins peptides vaccines also comes under the purview of freeze thaw study i hope you are clear on to the application part now what are the standard freeze thaw conditions now this is the one of the most striking question to many professionals okay we understand the uh, necessity to conduct a freeze thaw study but let us know what is the condition that i must have unfortunately there is no standard and agreed definition of freezing and thawing rates and it is been adopted based on to your own product application so depending on the equipment used the freezing rate can be even slow intermediate or even rapid and same is the case for thawing too the thawing can be slow intermediate or rapid it depends on to the equipment that you are using to conduct a freeze thaw study now how to conduct a freeze thaw study then you can use a free thaw study chambers there are freeze thaw study chambers available in the market and this equipment this chambers has a inbuilt capacity to program the different temperature conditions for different uh, amount of time or the duration but in case if you do not have this those freeze thaw chamber at the site and in case if you have the different uh, incubators stability chambers you can use those different stability chambers for exposing your drug product for different temperature conditions but the second option could be quite uh, laborious uh, there can be chance of the error and hence it is very preferred uh, it is very uh, useful Uh, to use a freeze thaw chamber for this kind of study because it will be error free no doubt about the exposure and the sample handling will be minimum the chamber must be air ventilation uh, the chamber must have the appropriate air ventilation and it must be you know have the uniform temperature across inside the content the user has to program the profile as per the application as there is no standard guideline program available for the freeze thaw study applicant has to decide what kind of temperature conditions are suitable for my product and this is just an example let us say you think of starting the uh, study from minus 20 degree celsius for 48 hours and then you are going to increase the temperature to 5 degree celsius and for 5 degree celsius again you are going to withstand the product for another 48 hours then increase the temperature to 25 degree celsius withstand at 25 degree celsius for 48 hours and then last at 40 degree celsius and then withstand the product at 40 degree celsius for another 48 hours so this is just an example how this freeze thaw program can be understood 
the number of cycles can be 1 or 3. So this is the 1 cycle. Minus 20 to 40 degree Celsius is the 1 cycle. You can think of conducting 1 cycle or even multiple cycles too. Attention must be given to compatibility of container closure system at different freeze stock conditions. It is very important that your container, your packaging material must withstand at those selected temperatures. This study is generally carried out on one submission batch. On one submission batch. So I hope you uh, must have now very much clear on how to conduct a freeze thaw study. Thank you so much.